Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at another Wayside Works locomotive. Today is this beautiful industrial locomotive in front of us, the Andrew Barclay 10 inch saddle tank locomotive. Um, you're probably wondering what route I'm on. It's, believe it or not, a Wayside Works route in itself. Uh, this route is called the Parkfield Colliery um, and to be honest it's perfect for such as this locomotive, Pembrokeshire Works' 14 inch uh, Manning Wardle and the Farless just hiding over the back there. So obviously this locomotive is going to have a review of itself so what we'll do is we'll hop into it instantly put the brakes on because <laughs> it's quite a steep line. What we'll do is uh, we've got some shunting and whatnot to do uh, take a probably a coal train down the line and bring an empty one back up uh, so yeah we'll have a quick look around the locomotive first before we get on with it um, as I've come to expect with uh, Wayside Works locomotives the detail on these locomotives are absolutely fantastic they're certainly improving um, by each add-on it's just a fantastic little engine I do love industrials apart from uh, the occasional um, Southern Loco, I, I do love them. I, I can't, just can't get enough of industrial locomotives, including narrow gauge. It's fantastic. I mean, look, look at this NCB liveried one. You just see how grimy it is because these things obviously are shunters and never went on the main line. They just potted about in collieries, yards, and harbours for their life. It's, fan it's a fantastic little model. Superb. Everything is animated from the uh, brake rigging. Uh, you can see some of the more of it back here. I won't take the brakes off because it'll start rolling. The handbrake uh, doesn't... I don't think the handbrake works um, or I've, I haven't found out a way how to use the handbrake, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, no, I'm pressing the usual handbrake key and it doesn't seem to be working. But you do have a locomotive brake which is this one. Um, it's quite a nicely detailed cab. Uh, these locomotives, as I said, weren't mainline stuff, it was just shunting. So that's quite simple to use. So you've got, got your reverser, don't need to press anything, just W and S. Um, I believe these are the waters for the injectors, if I press L. Yeah, that's the water. K for that one. Uh, steam for that. Steam for that. The blower valve is actually hidden behind that there. Um, to fire it, you just have to press F, open the firebox doors, and press R. And then... Um, yeah, just loads up the coal. Anyway, we've got some shunting to do, and then probably take a train down the line. Well, we'll take a light one, because uh, the brakes are quite good on these locos, but it's quite a steep grade, and it's quite bumpy, so I don't particularly want to uh, risk it. So what I'll do is I'll set the road. Uh, what I fancy taking. So I'm up here. Change that to there. Change that. Change that. Ch change that. And we'll grab one of these. One of these ones there. So, as always, you've got your space fire whistle. It's a bit quiet compared to the others, I've noticed. Uh, yes, this isn't the only uh, livery you get with the pack. You do get other liveries. But um, because of my potato of a PC, I can't plonk all of them down. Otherwise, I just won't get a video done. It will just constantly crash. So you just have to put up with the NCB liveried one. Um, which, to be honest, I think is one of my favourite liveries of this pack. As well as uh, another green one. I, I just have a thing with green industrial engines with red rods. I don't know why. Uh, I think the next one is V. You get the short whistles. There you go. So, yeah, plunk it into back. Uh, open the drain cart, which is there. Probably shut that off. Got a touch of oh no, don't need the blah. And take the Lego brake off and let her roll. It does have headlamps, but I can't figure out how to turn them on. I've tried the F4 HUD, but for some reason it's just not having any of it. That beautiful little thing. I'm, I'm still madly in love with the uh, Pembrokeshire Works loco. I love, I love them. 
these guys are really getting good at what they're doing. Speed in, I don't want to speed. It just feels so at home with this in with this uh, this engine feels so at home on this route. Uh, like I said, this is a Wayside Works uh, route. It's called the Parkfield uh, Colliery. You basically get a, a colliery and then drives all the way down to the main line, which we're where we'll be going. Uh, I can't remember if these yeah these are all empty, so we'll have to load them up and then take them down. really can't get over the amount of detail that uh, Wayside Works are really putting into their locomotives now. You've got, in, you've got inside valve gear as well. It fully works. Just going to notch that forward. And yes, you did, I don't know if you saw that, the, the way shaft in there actually moves as well. So that's, that's quite a good detail. I'm a bit worried about coupling this up just in case it goes flying. There we go. Work that time. Right, so we've got about one five wagons. Uh, I think on check the road again because I don't want to go flying into where I've just come from. I'll go down there. Down to the line. So yeah, this is the entire route. It's not long. As you can see, the colliery is up here, and we've got some sidings uh, for the main line down here. Um, I'll probably park these five wagons here and then take up these six. Uh, if it can make it, if not, I'll just have to take up five. I mean, I've got there. Yeah, I've got six there. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's load it up. It does, believe it or not, have a simulated steam chest as well. Um, which again earns its earns its points really. They're really uh, stepping up their game. Clunk and bang. Right, let's load these up and I'll probably uh, join you back once I've finished loading them. Okay, we're all loaded. Let's uh, head down to the sidings at the main line. Um, as you saw by the map, there isn't much in terms of a main line. It's pretty much just this little uh, uh, route from the colliery to the main line. But still, it's quite, it's long enough for little industrials. So uh, let's head off. So once again, yep, you do have your various camera views but I'll get to depth a bit more as we go, I just need to get up over this hill.
So now we're over the hill, I'll uh, talk you through some of the uh, camera views. So, as before, you've got your usual heading cab, you've got your head out, driver's side, farming side, head out, farming side. Down by the wheels, I have to admit it is a bit too close and you can't really move the camera unlike the other locos. Um, oops, sorry. Same again, the other side, you can't really look around. And back in the cab. Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad, but then again, I can see why I've done it, but like I said, it's just a bit close to the uh, uh, the wheels for my liking compared to the other locomotives. What's this? Oh, Sander, right. Speed limit 25. Doubt a little industrial could do that. Put the blower on.
Yeah, once again, I don't think that's gone well. Uh, so you can get some pressure back. Because we've dropped quite a lot. We're like above 60 psi. Yeah, so drop it back down the hill. I kind of forgot how steep this route was actually. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've been on this one. A bit like the Grand. Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Grand. Uh, oh. Something. I can't remember now. I only recorded it last week. <laughs> Let's get on the flat. Stop. Unless uh, I think five might have been too much for it. I was a bit ambitious. <laughs> uh, probably two or three might have done it. Might have done it two or three. How steep is that? It's, uh, it's quite steep. It's the top of the hill there. Right, there's flat there and up again. Maybe it starts going downhill. So if I can get over that first bit, that goes up here again, down here again. This is very hilly. Uh, I'll come back once I've built up pressure. Yeah, I think I've taken one too many. Uh, you know what? Do something we're not supposed to do. Right. Let's see if we'll handle three. Forward, go forward. Okay, so one handle three. Okay, then. Two. One handle two. All. Oh. Come on. Really? Two? Come on, really? I swear to God. Well, I think we found the limit. Eh.
Okay, let's try this again. So I've got three this time, but then again, I don't think I'll be able to do it, if I'm honest. 2,000 years later. Oh, for God's sake! Ah, I'm not good at this. So yes, after two failures at the uh, Parkfield Colliery route, I've now gone on to another route which I reviewed uh, by Slowline Simulations uh, a while ago. I'll probably put the thing up in the corner for that video. Um, yeah, so here it is. Here's the other livery that I do quite like on this uh, Andrew Barkley locomotive. And um, what we'll do is we'll hop on, brakes on, do all that, and um, we'll go down, collect a carriage, which uh, is the Upwell, no, Wisbeach and Upwell stock. And uh, Go up and down the line a few times and then I'll end the video.
So, here we are, back at the station. Uh, I do want to apologise for the uh, probably terrible review, but I will try and make it a bit funny so you can have a laugh at my expense. Um, so what do I think of it? Well, as always, the locomotives are absolutely fantastic. The attention to detail and textures are just phenomenal. They're absolutely superb they really are i can't find the right word to describe it but it's it's really good um again it's a free locomotive from their uh, web page i'll put a link in the description below um and as you can see it goes nicely with the stockton pack i believe you can get from dt uh, i think so yeah it's superb you get a vacuum version as well as a steam brake only uh I I just can't I can't find the words to describe how impressed I am with everything uh, they're doing on their locomotives at the moment. Like honestly, that the textures are fantastic. The model themselves very detailed. Even the fact that this locomotive has a simulated steam chest as well as the Robin and a couple of others I think I reviewed. I mean, these guys are really, as I've said before, stepping up their game, and I really can't wait to see what else they have in store. So, uh, without further ado, thank you as always guys for watching the video. If you did like it, please give it a like. Um, if you uh, want to leave me a comment, I'm more than happy to read it and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, please hit the subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. I'm nearly, I think I'm like halfway there to 200 subscribers. There will be the 100 sub video uh being made at some point i've just got to find a sunny day and a day off away from work and uh, the railway when i'm not doing anything so uh yeah i hope to see you in another vi another review video or the 100 subscriber special all right see you later thanks again for watching bye